In the holy city of Sfat lived a very holy rabbi by the name of Rabbi Yitzchak Luria, commonly known as the Arizal, or the Ari. Today is actually his day of passing. The Arizal used to take his students into the hills that surrounded the city of Sfat, and they would learn Torah there, and they would daven in there, pray. On other occasions, he would take them to visit the grave sites of the very holy, righteous um, Sadiqim individuals, and they'd do the same thing, they'd pray or they'd learn Torah there. So on one occasion, the Arizal took his students to go to the gravesite of a prophet named Hoshia ben Biri. They went there and they sat and they all prayed. And after they prayed, the students sat there and waited for their master to come and learn Torah with them. They noticed when he sat down that his usual happiness and contentment had faded. All of a sudden, he looked worried. He looked almost like something was very much wrong in the world. So they asked, they said, Our Master, what's wrong? What, what have you seen? He said, I've heard a decree from up above that there's going to be a plague to hit the city of Sfat. It's been decreed that a swarm of locusts are going to come and wipe out all the crops, and we're going to be in a terrible famine. The students were besides themselves. They were lost. They were freaking out. And so they asked him, they said, Our Master, what, what can we do? Like, what, what, what sin did we do to bring this about? Like, what caused this? And he said, In the city of Sfat, there's this man by the name of Yaakov Altrin. And he's become very poor. His luck has turned. And he's very much struggling. And no people, no citizens of the city are helping him. And his prayers to Hashem are what causing this decree to be passed. He's the one that is asking for help. And the fact that no one's helping him is what's caused this issue. And so they said, okay, what can we do? So the Ari gathered them together and they all pulled whatever money they had. The Ari collected the cash and he gave it to one of his disciples, Rabbi Yitzchak HaKohen. And he told him to go find Rabbi Yaakov, not Rabbi, go find Yaakov Alchin. So Yitzchak went and he searched every street corner, every alley, everything he could to find this place. Eventually he found it. This small beaten up shack, broken windows, terrible, terrible place. Clearly this man was in some trouble. And so he went to knock at the door when he started hearing the sobbing and the weeping crying from inside. And Yitzchak knocked at the door, but no answer. So he took the initiative and he pushed the door open slowly. And he finds Yaakov Altrin sitting there with his family, crying, beseeching Hashem, help us, help us, why are you doing this? Like, we, we just, you're supposed to be kind, you're supposed to be good, why would you do this? And all of a sudden they notice this guest walk into their house. He said, who, who are you? He says, I was sent by my master, the Arizal. We heard of your misfortune and I've come to help. And they were so happy. And so he took out the money, but he asked, he said, what, what's the issue here? He says, you see, I am a water carrier. I go and I collect water and I distribute it to the different people around the city. But recently my barrel broke beyond repair and I haven't been able to make any money. Usually I make a meager living, enough to feed my family. Now my children are starving and things have really turned for the worse. And I've been crying to Hashem, beseeching Him to help. I thought He was a kind God, but nothing's working, nothing's happening. So Yitzchak coin heard him and he told him, Well, I've come here to help. And he took out the money and handed it to him. And all of a sudden, this man was so happy, so excited. He said, thank you so much. And uh, Yitzchak said to him, I need you to know that your prayers to Hashem have not gone unanswered. He's heard you, but you've also endangered the lives of all the citizens in the city. He says, what do you mean? He says, because of what you were crying about and all the complaining and all these things, you painted the people here in a very bad light. And there's been a decree that was going to destroy the city. And so Yaakov Altrin said, I'm so sorry, I understand, I understand. From now on, when I beseech Hashem, I'll do it without complaining. I'll strictly ask for Him to help and beg for His mercy and kindness. So Yaakov understood this 
Yitzchak took the message and he left. He went back to the Arizal and he told him the message has been delivered. Tell me, is the is the decree been annulled? Has it been averted? The Ari looked at him and said, don't worry, we're okay. The decree has been annulled. All of a sudden, the, the disciples are happy. They were celebrating when they see in the distance a huge dark cloud. A whole swarm of locusts are coming towards the city. Now they're freaking out again. They thought they were safe when all of a sudden things are not looking so good. And they look at the Arizal and they say, what's going on? He says, don't worry, we're okay. They stand there as the swarm is getting closer and closer. Next thing you know, a huge wind comes from the west and pushes the whole swarm away from the city. They all celebrate. Thank God, another day saved. Again, lots of lessons to draw from this. But I hope everyone in the merit of the Arizal, you should see him again speedily in our days with the coming of Mashiach and all be in the right place together.